Rally North Wales would provide the latest backdrop for the Pirelli Welsh Rally Championship and as always in this neck of the wood the competition was strong. After what must seem like a pretty bad run of luck, it would be a turnaround for Matthew Hurst and Declan Deer this weekend. They open up a small five second lead of the event after the morning stages. Hurst and Deer's closest challenge would come from this man, Oshin Price, Dale Furness alongside. They lead the historic crews on the entry at this stage. The stage is basically Oshin's back garden, so he would be expected to go well. And indeed, we wouldn't be far from the garden of the Roland brothers either. Ye and Roland's and Emir Hall taking the lead in that family battle this weekend, as well as the W12 lead. Not quite a match for Price at this stage, though. Harry Gardner and Elliot Graham hadn't made too many outings recently, so this weekend was certainly going well for the pair. The lack of seat time considered particularly. They end the morning with fourth on the overall leaderboard, second in W13. Alan Walker and Will Rogers joined the championship this weekend. The first round for them to get some points on the board. They reached this point in the rally with fifth on the leaderboard, second in the W6 class. It's all on brief for now. And just behind them in the class were John Rowlands and Karen Tomlinson, third in that W6 class as well as sixth place on the leaderboard. For Wug Utting and Bob Stocker, it will be the lead in the N4 class. The pair making a strong start in that familiar Subaru Impreza. And it would be another good start to the event for Tom Llewellyn and Ross Whittock. A good result on the previous round, setting them up well for this weekend. They take eighth overall, fourth in W6, as well as leading the way in the Ravenel Challenge. Behind Llewellyn in the class and overall results at this stage were Steve Bennett and Ofshin Owen. The pair's first round this season, and they were looking strong as well, ninth on the leaderboard for now, and fighting. Rounding out the top 10 at this stage in the rally were Craig McIntosh and Steve Harris. Third place in W13, as well as second in the Ravenel Challenge. Some good pace then from our top 10 so far here on Rally North Wales in the Welsh Rally Championship. Let's take a look though now at some of the places outside of that top 10. And it would be the W5 class lead for Howell Davies and Simon Jones. Showing some strong pace themselves in that class once again this weekend and knocking on the door of a top 10 at this stage. For Nigel Kay and Fred Roberts, it will be second in W12. The Chevette pair lying in 16th place on the leaderboard as well. Just behind them in the class and overall positions were Josh Taylor and Will Atkins. Nine seconds behind to be exact, 17th overall, third in that class battle. Dan Evans and Jess Hockley bring the Suzuki Swift out this weekend. They make a great start to the event as well, leading the way in W3 and with a good advantage in that position as well. Some good knowledge of these cars in that co-driver's seat. And it will be a similar story for Ridian Price and Stephen Brown, perhaps without the knowledge in the co-driver's seat. Although, who knows, they lead the way in the N3 class in the Fiesta, though the advantage there was, it had to be said, a little smaller. And just behind Price and Brown in the overall leaderboard was Simon Pickering and Colin Jenkins, the historic escort pair lying in 26th place overall, as well as second in W5. Meanwhile, for Matthew Baddeley and Phil Kenny, it will be second in the N3 class. The second of our Fiesta crews on the results this weekend in 27th overall. Back to that battle for the W5 class honours then, and it would be the final step on the podium at this stage in the rally for Ron Morgan and Tudor Jenkins. Third in the class, 29th overall. A fair way to go just yet though. And there'd be just two crews in W4. And taking the lead there would be Martin Walters and Marie Fletcher. That familiar Civic leading the way with just over half a minute's advantage at this stage. Behind them and looking to eat into that 30 second lead in the class were Steve Dealey and Alan Proudman. Of course, the lead for the W4 would be their deficit. Second place in the class in that 205 GTI. 
It will be another 205 on the leaderboard just behind Dealey as well. We love to see these cars out. Emily and Elliot Vitalik making a return to the stages to lead the way in the W2 class in their example of this classic 80s rally hot hatch, a car which got so many of us into rallying in the first place. And rounding out the top of the class results were Gethin Price and Tommy Emlyn Williams. Second place in the W3 class for the pair at this stage. We are four stages down then here in North Wales, four still to go. The results at the top are close just as we've come to expect in the Welsh Rally Championship. Just five seconds in it for the lead of the overall rally. On to the afternoon stages then, and we see a slip down the order a little for Steve Dealey and Alan Proudman. No drama to speak of, keeping hold of second in the W3 class and now in 30th on the leaderboard. They've been passed on the leaderboard indeed now by the other 205 of Emily and Elliot Retallick. No change to the class for the pair. They still take the W2 class honours, but now in 29th overall. And with just the two crews in the W3 class, it would be that second place there for Gethin Price and Tommy Emlyn Williams. Some good points on the board this weekend from the micro pair. No change to the W4 class lead through the afternoon stages. We see Martin Walters and Murray Fletcher take that class victory this weekend. For Ron Morgan and Tudor Jenkins, meanwhile, it will be third in W5. No change for the pair through the afternoon, but still a class podium here at Rally North Wales. And after a good day's rallying in the stages, it would be a good result in that class for Simon Pickering and Colin Jenkins. Enjoying themselves, they take second in the W5 class this weekend, 26th overall. With the only other crew in the N3 class missing, it would be just the one finisher. Ridian Price and Stephen Brown taking that honour. But of course, the pair had held the lead throughout the morning to take that class win. And it's a great end to a strong rally for Dan Evans and Jess Hockley, seeing them take the W3 class victory. With it, the pair end the event in 16th place overall in that Swift. Damien Pratt's and Johnny Tad Evans climb the results to get themselves into the top of the W12 class now. The escort pair ending their rally with third in the class, 15th on the leaderboard. For Hal Davies and Simon Jones, meanwhile, it will be the W5 class win. They also take third in the Ravenel Challenge on this round as well. There were no changes to the results for Nigel Kay and Fred Roberts, though. They keep hold of second place in the class to the finish. They do lose a little time, though, in the penultimate stage with a spin. A bit of last shot drama. Lucky, though, not to get caught out any worse than they did. Bit of confidence lost, a little time lost, but no positions. So we're on to our top ten then, and it would be that tenth spot for John Parrott and Andrew Sankey. The pair making a welcome return to the stages this season, and clearly nothing had changed while they'd been gone. Things had gone well today. For Craig McIntosh and Steve Harris, it will be third in the W13 class. The Escort Cosworth adding some lovely variety to the class. You know we like those cars. And indeed to the results overall, ninth place for the pair, second in the Ravenel Challenge. Steve Bennett and Oshin Owen have a good weekend to take eighth place in that Escort as well as fourth in W6. Perhaps predictably given their pace from the start of the rally, it would be the N4 class victory for Woolgutting and Bob Stocko. A good day on the stages for the pair and a strong start as well to their points tally for the season. For Tom Llewellyn and Ross Whittock, it would be the Ravenel Challenge victory this weekend. A strong result for the pair who take sixth place overall, climbing the overall championship leaderboard after this round as well with that result. It will be fifth place overall, meanwhile, for John Rowlands and Karen Tomlinson here on Rally North Wales. The pair ending the rally with second place in W6 as well. No change to the results for Harry Gardner and Elliot Graham. They end the rally with fourth place overall, as well as taking second in W13. There'd be some change in our podium positions as we head towards the final stages of the rally. Ocean Price and Dale Furness, after such a strong start, slipped down a position through the afternoon to take the final step on the podium. With it, the class victory, though, all was not lost. They had, though, lost that second place. Still a good result for the pair this weekend. That, of course, 
meant that it was changed for Ye and Rollins and Emir Hall as well, overhauling that second place from Price, taking the W12 class win as well as second place on the overall leaderboard. The gap to that lead, just 24 seconds in the end. It's Escort versus Mitsubishi Evo, but that means it's victory for Matthew Hurst and Declan Deer in a season that didn't look to be going quite their way so far. A finish would have been welcomed. Victory overall, however, was much more welcome and a very deserved end to rally North Wales and a strong performance this weekend. So confirmation then of victory for Hurst and Deer. A good result for the Evo pair and hopefully the start, they would think, of a winning streak going into the next round on the Rally Nuts stages.